Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. This pick a card reading is going to be all about releasing your ex. That one that you can't seem to just let go that always seems to creep in your mind at the last second or all the time for some of you guys out there and you just don't understand why this reading is for you and to help you get over that and to help you finally release. Stay tuned and keep watching. I will have the description um, box below with the timestamps for you guys for your guys convenience. If you need any extra time, please take some time now to go ahead and pause the video to make your choices between one, two, three, or pile four. You can pick more than one. I also have some extra channeled messages, just like a little quick sentence to kind of give you a quick message and kind of like maybe almost a kick in the butt guidance for some of them because as I was writing them I'm like that's a bit harsh but it's straightforward and to the point and it might just help so without further ado let's jump in shall we Alrighty. so for my lovies who picked number one let's see what we get so that we can help you guys out okay so the message that I wrote for this one was time to ignore so with this I feel like the rest of this reading will help you out with understanding why we got this message for this one, but it's definitely time to ignore that unwanted X so that you can finally move on to the next and have a more productive love life is what I feel. So we're going to start off with the Akashic Tarot. So we have the seven of keys and this is for why you can't seem to let them go. I'm sorry. I forgot to say that. So the Ascent, Seven of Keys, the Treasure, Two of Keys, we have the Muse, and we have the Light of the World. So with this, I feel like, hang on, bear with me here, can't seem to pick them up. All right, so with the Treasure and the Ascent, I feel like the reason that you can't seem to let go is because you feel like you had such an uplifting time with them that when you were finally like done with them, you fell pretty hard and it was quite a long drop for you. And you feel like there was more to be discovered. So you feel like there's been some stuff that's left undone. And then with the light of the world and the muse, I feel like it's put you into kind of like a hermit mode instead of being able to fully express yourself out in the open and to kind of basically strut yourself and to get into another relationship. So this person has put you in a mindset of you not being worthy with this treasure card because you fell so hard for them and because you felt like you hit almost like rock bottom because I'm really um, drawn to the rock with this. So let's find out what's keeping you drawn to them with the unicorn cards okay we have true yes what you are asking about is the truth so let's see what other cards we have so that i can mo elaborate more on this other than the fact that all i'm getting is that you thought that they were your true love we have find what you started or excuse me not find finish what you started you started something important and now it's time to complete it. So with this, I feel like you still feel like there's some unfinished business with this person as to why you can't seem to get them out of your mind and to finally release them and let go. And you feel like you can't get closure with this. So let's see what else we can get with this. Okay. We have exercise. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. So I feel like the more you move and the more you do things and concentrate on doing other things, the less you will think about this person and it will help you to release more and to ignore them, which is perfect with the time to ignore message. And then we have forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. So with this, I feel like you need to forgive and finally let them go and move on and no longer hang on to them and to also release their um grip from you as well if you feel like they still have kind of like some sort of like hold over you or power over you they don't and the more that you 
realize this and the more that you stay busy and the less you think about them, the more it'll make sense to you is what I feel. So with the Archangel Gabriel cards, we're going to find out why they keep creeping into your thoughts all the time and what you can do about it. We have creative expression. God's divine creativity is expressed through your actions. So with this, I feel like keeping busy, just keep busy and they will stop creeping into your thoughts. And I know that sometimes when you get like into that flow, that all of a sudden you find yourself thinking about them randomly and you're not understanding as to why. Then we have agent, agent or manager. Your work expands its reach as your partner with, as, let me start over. I'm sorry. Your work expands its reach as you partner with a professional who can help you. So if you need to reach out to friends or even like a third party, like kind of like um, maybe say, for example, your doctor or a social worker or wherever it is um, that you can find with a professional to talk to to get a third opinion, they can help you work through these issues and finally help you get past them. Okay. And then for the last couple of cards from the Romance Angels, we're going to find out what you can do to finally able, uh, finally be able to release them <clears throat> and also get you a little bit of guidance to help you along your process, okay? We have chemistry. And then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So I feel like there's a new love that's just right there waiting to come in. So as soon as you release this X... They will be right there and they will swoop right in and you will not even remember that they exist is what I'm getting. And I feel like that these heart to heart conversations that you have with this new person that's coming in for you, you are going to have so much in common that you are going to have such a great time that you won't think you won't have time to think about anything else is what I'm getting. Okay. So I do hope that these messages helped you and that this reading has resonated with you. If it didn't, please take what does and leave the rest and know that I love you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Alrighty, welcome back. And so for my lovies who picked number two, let's see what we get for you to help you along your way with releasing this X. Let's see what the message is that we got for you. We have release immediately. I know that this pink card kind of like really messes with the camera lens, but it says to release immediately. So let's see why it says to release immediately. What I hear immediately though with that is it that this person is impeding or blocking you from receiving any new love relationships because you are so engrossed with thinking about them that it's just tied you up and you aren't able to focus and see what's coming in for you at this time is what I'm getting. So with the... Akashic Tarot cards, let's see what we have. We have the Lookout. We have the Ark of the Covenant. We have the Scribe. And we have Setting Your Course. So with these cards, I feel like they're telling you to keep your eyes open and to be well aware of what's going on because I feel like if this person keeps messaging you or you keep you know answering their texts or whatever it's going to keep a hold on you and it's not going to allow you to move forward and it's not going to allow you to explore anything new and it's not going to also allow you to um stay in the right direction as to where you actually really need to be going in your love life so i feel like this goes kind of almost well with the um time to ignore from the first deck well, from uh, the card one people, if you guys want to check that out, that's great. You might get some extra messages that um, really resonate. So let's see, because that's what's keeping you from letting them go. So let's see what's keeping um, you drawn to them with this. We have love heals fear. The power of your love can help <clears throat> bullies and angry people to be less afraid. And we have teamwork, work with others to make this situation come about. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this challenge, that this change will make things better. So I wanted to say challenge. So I feel like this is definitely a challenge for you to say goodbye to this person and to finally let go. And then we have talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. 
so with these cards, I feel like if this person keeps pressuring you with constantly texting you and trying to keep in touch with you just because they want to have a way back in because it's, it's, it's really messing with your heart and your head. I feel you got to put a stop to it. You got to put a block on it or something. I'm just trying to help you out. And then talking about your feelings, you can tell them off and tell them exactly what you think. Even if you want to tell them to go to hell <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Go right ahead. Tell them how you feel and what, um, how they made you feel. And then definitely tell them goodbye. Like, look, this is it. I'm done. I want to move on. You didn't want to be with me. Stop wasting my time. And then teamwork. If you need a friend to help you out at this time, by all means, reach out to them and let them keep you busy and surround you with love that you most need at this time. Okay. Then we have what keeps them creeping into your thoughts with these cards from Archangel Gabriel. We have pay attention to your dreams. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind <clears throat> where they appear in order to help you. And then we have motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. So with these cards, I feel like they've got such a hold on you and crept into your mind so much that you can't even get them out of your dreams. It's that bad. And you have been wishing and praying and hoping for some motivation to help you get through this. And I feel that's kind of why you're drawn to watching this reading. If you are know that your prayers are being heard and listened to and that they are trying to help you, but they also need you to, you know, work with them in turn with this teamwork card and to also, um, try and keep yourself a little busy. Think of new projects to do and that'll give you some motivation to stop talking to them and stop thinking about them. So let's see what we can do to help you along your way with finally releasing them. We have make the effort and we have playfulness. So I feel like if you definitely put a lot of effort into this with finally releasing and letting them go and ignoring them and to like, and you stop talking to them, that it'll definitely help you to bring about a new air and a new relationship is what I feel. Someone that's more worthy of your time and who values, who values you more as a person. And I feel like you will definitely have a lot of good times and experiences with this person. Okay. These are your messages. I do hope that they helped and resonated with you. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome back. For my folks who pick number three, let's see what we get to help you through this time, okay? And let's see what the message from spirit was for you. We have what's really keeping you. So I feel like those who've been drawn to this reading have actually been asking themselves this question as to why and why they keep dwelling on this person and why they, like, what's really keeping them from walking away and finally letting go and releasing from this situation. So these cards are going to help us figure out just that very question. So we have the Akashic Library, the Garden, Loving Elementos, and the Queen of Forces. So with this, I feel like you are stuck between a very important decision and you feel like, okay, if I let him go, this XYZ might happen. If I don't let him go, this is what's going to happen for me. And I feel like you are having this tough decision of your entire life and it's splitting you in two is what I'm getting from this. So I feel like what needs to be, um, what needs to happen for you is for you to really kind of sit down and write out your, um, pros and cons on each side and weigh them out equally to see exactly what is where. And it'll also help illuminate any thoughts as to why this has you so perplexed with this decision. And I feel like it'll also help you give, um, help to give you some peace of mind with this card and to also finally be able to sit down and release everything and let it all out. So let's see what else we get with the rest of these cards. So these are going to be why this person keeps creeping into your thoughts. 
and what keeps um well these are why they keep what why they keep why they keep creeping into your thoughts and this is what keeps um you drawn to that person as to that one side of you that says well i don't want to let go we have happy surprise something very good is about to happen with this card i feel like you're nervous that if you let go that you may um, not find someone who made you as happy as this person might have. But I feel like if it was really meant to be, wouldn't they still be there? And the same vice versa. I'm just going to put that out there for some food for thought, okay? It's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. So being alone with this card I get being alone is not a bad thing it's actually a good thing because it helps you to find out and see who you really are and what you want and what you don't want in a relationship or from someone okay and then we have imagine what would you see feel think and hear if your wish came true so whatever it is that you're wishing and thinking about with this person what do you think would actually happen do you think it would be something good or do you think you would land up land and end up where you are right now with this person after a while that's really something to weigh your options out do you really want to keep going through an endless cycle like really i i don't think you do and then we have decide it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want so that goes with exactly what i said with it with these cards with having to make this um heavy decision and trying to weigh out your options but I really feel like you know what actually needs to be done and the right thing to do with this, okay? But it's definitely time to make a clear and clear and concise decision. So let's see why they keep dwelling in your thoughts. We have law of attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations. And you will attract more positivity into your life. Then we have daily practice. The more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you become. So I feel like with this, if you keep dwelling on them, they're going to stay there. And if you keep thinking about them, it's going to keep attracting more and more thoughts about them. And I feel like if you practice daily affirmations of saying, I release this person, I forgive myself and I forgive them for the things that they have done, it'll help you to change your mind. And also, if you say the affirmations of, I am worthy of love, I deserve love, and you keep repeating those affirmations over and over with a daily practice, it'll bring in a new love that is completely and totally, utterly worthy of your love and affection, who will absolutely dote on you and wait on you hand and foot is what I feel and what I hear, okay? And then we have the romance angels to finally help you to be able to release this person and that give you some helpful guidance so we have love yourself first and unrequited love this is a loud and clear message for me that i'm being told that if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna love somebody else i know we say it a whole whole lot and all the time but think about it for a half a second just a little bit longer and how much that really makes sense right now so they want you to clearly love yourself first and enjoy this time of being by yourself and practicing these daily affirmations of telling you your, telling yourself that you are worthy of love, that you deserve that good and happy life, that you are an incredible loving individual. You are beautiful, you are smart, and you are kind. <laughs> yes, I watched the movie The Help. I loved that movie. Absolutely loved it. Made me cry every time I watched it. I must have watched it half a dozen times but anyways I digress so love yourself first so that way when you're finally ready and that new person comes in you can give all of yourself and you can have that equally between you instead of having a one-sided type of relationship like this old person did okay these are your messages I do hope they helped know that I love you and thank you guys so much for watching and joining me with this Alrighty, so for my lovies who picked number four, let's see what we get for you guys and why you can't seem to let this person go. And let's start with this personal message that we channel from spirit for you guys. Ooh, upside down. We have, so that it'll focus because it's a really bright card. <laughs> what are you waiting for? 
So Spirit is asking why you keep sitting on your butt waiting around and hoping and wishing that this person, this bum, <laughs> so to speak, would come back just to hurt you all over again. You deserve better than that, don't you? I think so. So let's find out why you can't seem to let them go. So that question comes with the King of Scrolls. A lot of contemplation with this, with messages back and forth. And I feel like whatever messages you've been sending out to this person, they go quite unanswered because I feel like you're blocked. Like someone blocked you from communication. So your messages aren't even going through, probably. I'm not saying that they are, but they might, like they are or aren't. I'm just saying that it, that's the feeling that I'm getting is that this person has blocked you completely from their life and closed you off. Then we have the architect. And then we have views of the ego and the king of keys. So with this, I feel like there's definitely somebody better that wants to come in and treat you like the queen that you are and worships the ground that you walk upon. But I feel like your ego is standing in the way saying, no, you don't deserve that. You, you deserve less than that. When you don't, you deserve better. You are the architect of your life. You are the one who makes the rules. You are the one who designs your life. So the moment you release this fool who's put a block or a hold on you and just completely cut you off, I feel like the second you stop worrying about them, stop trying to contact them, this new person will come marching right in and sweep you off your feet. So let's see why um, you keep feeling so drawn to this. I keep wanting to call him a moron because I feel like you are such a sweet and kind-hearted person that you deserve so much better. We have happy thoughts. I feel like you guys had a lot of good times together and that's what keeps you really drawn to this person because you tend to dwell on those happy memories. Okay, but think about the times where you also didn't have such happy memories. I'm not saying to really dwell on them. I'm just saying to kind of like weigh them out. Did you have more happier times or did you have more crappy times with them? Put some stuff into perspective, you know? Then we have family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history. So with this, I feel like your family would be best suited to help you through this and to help take your mind off of it because they love you and they know that you deserve better and that they are also there for you. We have pets. You love and understand animals. I feel like if you have a little fur baby at home, they love you and they see what kind of stress and heartache that you're going through and they just want to love you up all day long so if your pet's been really over attentive that's probably why because they see you as being stressed out a little bit and they just want to make you have a nice beautiful smile then we have thankful think about the people and things you feel grateful for so this goes back to the family culture with what I was saying with that I feel like your family is definitely there for you and I feel like that this person being gone out of your life is definitely a blessing, even though it doesn't feel like it. I feel like it's a blessing in disguise for you and that you have so many people around you that love you and want to just keep you safe and warm. And I feel like your pets are just right there by your side and they are definitely your ride or dies. Okay. So let's see why this person keeps creeping into your thoughts. We have let go and we have birth. Release the desire to control this situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. And then with the birth card, we have new life such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or an, or an exciting project blossoms within and around you. So with this, I feel like Embrace this new idea to finally let this person go and to finally release them. Because I feel like the second you do, there, there's going to be a new relationship coming in for you and that it's going to be 10 times happier than the one you just went through. And this person's going to try 
like the Dickens, not to break your heart. So if that actually resonates with you, and I don't know why I was wrong to say that word, because I never say that. It's not in my vocabulary. That's a message for you. They really want to get through to you to let this person go because there is better right there waiting for you. And I feel like for some of you, it's right in front of you because this person is right in front of her trying to get her attention and talk to her. They kill her. <laughs> you know? So let's find out some guidance to help you actually finally release this person and to finally move on and be happy with your love life. We have deception. Give your relationship a chance. So I feel like let this person go because they lied to you in the past about a lot of things and they weren't completely honest and open with you. And that's something that I feel like you are owed complete transparency and they didn't give that to you. And I feel like that's very disrespectful to you. So I feel like with this new person that wants to come in, I feel like they want you to give this relationship a chance. So go ahead and um, know that it's safe for you to release this liar and deceiver from the past and to give this new relationship a good and heartful heartfelt um chance okay i do hope these messages helped and that they resonated and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time